Okay, today I'm going to be showing you what happens when you wear a magnetic face mask near a giant neodymium magnet. Whoa. <laughs> now you may be asking yourself, what is a magnetic face mask? I had the same question at first. So this all started a few days ago when I was perusing Facebook and I noticed a product being advertised to me that said recharging magnetic mask kit and that immediately caught my attention. Now the question should be, why was this being advertised to me on Facebook? So throughout the day as Google and Facebook spy on me and my family, they may have overheard me talking about magnetic permeability, dipole moments, giant neodymium magnets, and probably overheard my wife talking about a beauty product or a new makeup that she's going to buy. And then with its amazing algorithm, it put it all together so that when I'm searching Facebook, it says, this person wants a magnetic mask kit. And sure enough, I went and bought it because it knew exactly what I wanted. And why did I buy this? Because I wanna see that if I put the magnetic mask on my face and then move my face near a giant neodymium magnet, it'll rip the mask off my face. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you how this works. So what we have here is a magnet, a beauty shield actually it's called, sorry. And then the magnetic mask is this paste here. So what you do is you put this paste on and then all you do is wave this over it. <laughs> and it takes it off. Okay, so first I'll use it as directed. I'll put it on my face, and then I'll use their little magnet to swipe it across my face and see how long it takes me to take the whole mask off. And then I'll reapply and see if I can get it all to come off with one single pass of the giant magnet and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't just suck my face into the magnet. <laughs> okay, here we go. So sometimes companies will kind of send out a mass email to a bunch of different YouTubers and they don't even know what your channel's about and they'll ask you to do beauty reviews and I've always gotten really annoyed at them and emailed back and said, have you even seen my channel? Why would I do a beauty review? But after this, actually you'd think this would make me feel feminine but I actually feel like I am Rambo putting mud on my face to camouflage myself. And because everyone loves countdowns, removing metallic face mask with a small magnet. Three, two, one. It's working. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> okay, I think we did pretty good. There's a few spots left on there, but overall I got it. I'm actually kind of surprised at how well it got it off my face. I thought the part where I kind of had stubble on my face would get stuck there, but the magnet pulled it off pretty good. Okay, now let's try it again and see if I can actually pull it off with the giant magnet. Okay, we're all reapplied now. This can't be a real product, can it? I mean, I've used like half the bottle. This is the second time I put it on and it costs like $25. And it says to apply one to two times a week. I think <laughs> could be an expensive magnetic habit. Okay, let's put my magnet in this bag here because these iron filaments are going to be near impossible to get off of this giant magnet. See if I feel anything pulling it. Whoa, I feel it. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. <laughs> that's awesome. So there must be more sensory receptors on my nose because my nose, I can feel it clear back here. I can feel it tingle on my nose and move around. It feels almost like static electricity, kind of like when you have something that's built up a static charge and you bring it near and you kind of feel this tingling near you, you can tell it's near. This is what it feels like. Okay, let's see it get pulled off my nose. Whoa. <laughs> Ah! Oh, I think it went in my nose. <laughs> Gotta get it out of my nose somehow. Okay, so this is a little concerning because 
Uh, I pretty much have it off of my face, but even when I move my face near it still, I can feel it tingling. So that means that there's still magnetic particles. There's still iron particles on my face, but you can't really see them. Okay, now I've gone and wiped all of it off, but what's weird is I can still feel it on my face. So that means some of it got into my pores. Some of those tire, tiny little iron filaments got into my pores because I can feel it pulling my face when I get near it. Especially in my nose. I don't know why it's in my nose, but it's inside of my nose somehow and I can feel it when I get near. I feel my nose getting pulled towards it. So weird. Yeah, and up around here I can feel it. It feels just like kind of static electricity. I feel this kind of tingling. So what's really interesting now, you can see that this magnetic mask forms these spikes on the magnet. And the reason it forms these spikes is pretty interesting, similar to how a ferrofluid forms spikes when you put it on a magnet. So it forms these awesome, these mountains of spikes here. So I have here some steel pennies. Watch what happens when I bring them near the magnet. Oh. They kind of do that same thing. And the reason it forms spikes like this is because when you put iron on a magnet, it becomes magnetized and it itself becomes a magnet. And so all of these little steel pennies on here become tiny little magnets and they attract each other end to end like this. But side to side, they repel each other. So that's why steel pennies form spikes, and that's also why this magnetic paste forms a spike in my hand, and why ferrofluid forms spikes. Okay, I didn't actually time my other one because I got distracted how cool it felt on my face. So let's time how fast we can get the face mask off with a giant magnet. Okay, start the timer and go. Whoa. Got it. Oh, and once again, it ends up in my nose somehow. And also, I'd like to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video. So people often ask me how to learn more about the principles that I cover in my videos, and Brilliant is an awesome way to do that. So Brilliant is a really cool website, and also it's an app which helps you learn by getting used to solving interesting problems in science, mathematics, and computer science. And each of the courses starts off kind of easy and fun, and then it gets more and more challenging as you master the concepts. So to support the Action Lab, go to brilliant.org slash the Action Lab to sign up for free. But if you'd like to sign up for their premium subscription, the first 200 people that click the link in my description will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos out. And if you haven't headed over to theactionlab.com, head over there now to check out the Action Lab subscription box. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.